Hey guys, welcome back. So I just finished my lunch. I was sitting outside kind of enjoying the day and the clouds are kind of rolling in. I'm not sure if it's going to rain or not. So I decided, you know what, I think I'm just going to go upstairs and play with my new makeup. So that's what we're going to do. We are just going to sit down here and play with my new makeup. I wanted to share with you the tea that I am drinking. It is the Yogi Detox Tea. It's caffeine free because gosh, it's afternoon and if I drink something now I'll be up way too late. Even though it is Friday and I like to stay up late to watch my favorite Lisa Lisa D1. She always posts her Friday haul video and that's like my Friday evening and then I usually have some sort of dessert on Fridays with her movie. Not her movie, it is like a movie actually because it's usually you know between 25 and 35 minutes long which is fine because I could listen to her for hours. I just pulled some stuff. I want to play with the new things that I've recently purchased within the past couple months here and you guys can just play right along with me. The Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, this one has SPF in it. It's the Protect One SPF 30, which is pretty good for a primer. Or, I mean, sunscreen and a primer. Some of these things I just got today, or one of these things I just got today. Uh, what else did I get today? Oh, I went to Ulta this morning. Um, a brand new Ulta just opened up literally like five minutes down the road, probably like three miles. And so I, of course, had to go there. And um, if you've ever been to an Ulta opening, grand opening, they usually have like coupons. And so I had picked out of a container and got a coupon for, what, $10 off? So, of course, you had to buy something. So I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in the shade Medium Beige today. I just got this and I'm actually going to be doing a review slash my favorite things from IT Cosmetics. That's going to go up sometime in August I believe. That may be up by now. It may not be up by now. I'm not sure. Either way, you can either be expecting it or you could head on over and watch it. So I like the coverage of this foundation and let me just tell you a little something about IT Cosmetics brushes. If you don't own one, you definitely need to invest in one. These things are like the bee's knees. These are like creme de la creme, super, super soft. Ugh, I really like these brushes. They feel like you're putting just soft, cuddly blankets all over your face as you're applying your makeup. I just love it. So. Okay, I have a lot of breakouts going on right now, which is why I wasn't going to put makeup on today. But then I decided that playing in makeup is much more fun than just sitting and watching the rain clouds roll in. <laughs> so I will watch them from here and chit chat with you guys. Um, let me know down below how, you know, whether it be a thumbs up or however you want to do it, comment. If you guys like these kind of videos, because I myself love to watch these. And I love to make them because I feel like you learn about me and I can just chit chat because I like to talk. I could talk all day long. Let's be real. I could talk all day long. And see, I talk so much that I put like 10 coats of makeup on. That's okay. I'm not going anywhere fancy. Okay, what am I going to do next? Uh, concealer. I'm just going to use the um, Ule Henriksen CC Eye Cream in the shade Natural. It is very natural. It works really well with the CC Cream. It's definitely... I don't know, it's really creamy. I actually don't mind it. I mean, I don't have dark under eye circles or anything. But the cool thing about this product is that it has SPF in it. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you that I was going to lay outside in my swimsuit. But then I decided that's probably not a good idea, Chelsea. Because I don't want to look ancient in 10 years. So I opted. I'm like, and plus I self-tanned last night. Why would I need to go lay out in my swimsuit? <laughs> It feels awesome to lay out in the sun, but oh, I wish it wasn't so, like, aging, you know? Wrinkles and all that good stuff. Alright, now I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is just, like, a very pretty, finely milled, loose, white, translucent powder, but it has these tiny little micro... not I don't want to say glitter, but, like, reflective type properties to it so it's supposed to really like not only set your makeup but kind of brighten up this whole under eye area I don't know it's really cool and I don't know for the full size of this I don't think it's expensive at all because if you only use this underneath your eyes it's gonna last you forever because I can tell you what I bought something in the same size from Tarte 
like my uh, Tarte finishing powder and I'm purposely trying to like <laughs> use that stuff up and it's like never ending. Anyways, I don't know, does it look lighter? I think it looks a little lighter. Alright, so that's done. Now to the fun thing. This is what I got today. Are you excited? I am. It's the new It. It's not new. New to me. It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. It's like a contouring kit. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this. So, do I know what I'm doing? Uh, no. Um, I need a brush. Hold on. Okay, so I don't even know what brushes I'm going to use. So we're just going to go for it. I probably should have used this. This matte white one. Let's just take a little bit of this. I'm just using a Sedona Lace FB03. I think it's supposed to be like a highlighting, tapered highlighting type brush. So I'm just going to put a little of that under here, even though I just used that other powder. But I want to use all these powders today because <laughs> it's fun. So I just lighten up under there. Okay. And then I'm going to start the whole contouring thing. I'm going to actually, no, I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit with one of these lighter ones. So maybe, actually, I think I might use this one. And I'm going to bronze up my face. Just I'm just going to use a big powder brush. And these are pretty pigmented, so I'm not going to, I'm trying not to look too crazy. Um, so bronzing is different than contouring from what I have learned. And I recently learned this. <laughs> Um, I'm just adding some warmth back into my skin, pretending like my face looks like I've been laying out all day. Ooh, these are nice. Quite pigmented, actually. This is a really nice, like, travel gift. Not travel gift, like travel size palette. Because you have all your contouring, you have a bronzer you can use to warm up your face like I'm doing. You have a color that, like, you can contour with. You have highlighting colors. You have under eye colors. Okay, so I just bounced it up. And now I'm going to go in and contour. And I'm going to use my NARS Eda brush. And mm, I'm going to start out with this lighter one because I don't want to do something really crazy and scare you guys off and be like, we're never watching her again. She just totally made herself look freaky. Um, because I'm just curious how these work. Ooh, I like the color. None of these colors are too warm. They're more cool toned. So they really create what would be a very natural shadow. I also really like this NARS Eda brush. I... I got my hands on this um, after I watched my friend Trish from A Glittery Life. I will link her channel below. Um, she had told everybody to call the NARS store in Melrose in California. So I called them and they said, yeah, of course you can buy it, like over the phone. And so I just paid them and they sent it to me. And I, at the same time, I had bought this brush as well from them, the Yashio, I think it's called. And there is something to be said about investing in really good quality brushes because you can manipulate and sculpt out your face or sculpt out your eyes or really, I don't know, I just, I'm loving having this brush. It's completely changed my whole contouring routine. I mean, I still like to use the Sigma one because this one you can kind of really buff as well. So the two together are like perfect contouring action. Okay, so there's a little contour for you. And then I'm gonna go in and just deepen it up a little bit. Just a little bit back here, nothing crazy. Okay, and then I just wanna contour like my jawline a little bit here to just kind of define it so I'm just I'm just picking random colors guys let's just mix this one and this one and see what happens here just want to give you a little you can see how the products work and look on my skin tone here this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than my normal because I'm feeling chatty and it takes longer to do stuff when you're talking at the same time 
so that looks cool. Now let's highlight. Let's take um, the Yashio brush and the highlighter is this one right here. It's pretty shimmery, so I don't want to go too crazy. Just on the tops of my cheekbones here. I like to do a little bit of a C motion. I also like to take it down the center of my nose here. I thought it was kind of a shimmery highlight, but it's it's kind of natural. It's not crazy. It's not like some of my other highlighters that I have are like boom, in your face highlight. It's actually kind of pretty. I really like it. Okay, so that's the It Cosmetics Sculpting Palette. I did not use this dark one. If I did, let me just show you, I would probably just take a teensy, weensy, weensy little bit and just keep it way back here and just uh, really define that, that contoured area here just a little bit. Now, of course, if you're darker than me, you would probably use it more. If you're lighter than me, little bit. You know what? You could use it as an eyeshadow. No reason why you couldn't. So that's the Cosmetics palette. Really digging it. For blush today, I'm going to use my new Chanel blush. Oh, I feel so fancy when I open this up. Not only that, you're sitting here and you just can smell roses. And my favorite Holy, Ga Holy Grail blush brush is the It Cosmetics. I'm telling you, they know what they're doing when it comes to brushes. So I'm just going to put a little blush on. Or as my grandma would say, a little rouge. This blush makes me feel sophisticated and fancy. And just really classy, honestly. It's just a beautiful shade. It's called Rose Ekrin. It's just a really beautiful rosy pink shade. Just really, really like it. And now I'm going to fill in my brows here. And I'm just going to take the Anastasia um, Pomade in Dip Brow in Chocolate. And this is just a cheapy old brush I got from Ulta. And I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy today because I'm just going to do a simple eye look, I think anyway. Alright, can we just talk about how much I love the Dip Brow? It's so easy, like I can just draw them on because I, as you saw before, need to draw my brows because they just disappeared. So let's move on to eyes. I'm going to use the Scandalize Paint eyeshadow paint in the color Peachy Apricot from Rimmel. This is beautiful for summertime. Actually, I would wear it all year long, but especially in the summer because it's a really pretty peachy coppery color. It's like this wet paint. So I'm just going to draw this on. And I think I'm just going to use my fingers. Sometimes I'm not always sure what the correct protocol is, but I'm just going to show you what I do after all. So we're just going to throw that on right there. And I'm going to bring it up just a little bit above my crease. If you bring, if your eyes droop downward, you bring the eyeshadow up, it's going to give the appearance of like a lift. So... I'm kind of winging it up and out because if you bring it down, it's going to, even if you don't have downturned eyes, it's going to make your eyes, eyes look like sad, uh, like down, and you don't want that, right? Right? We always want things up and high and beautiful. Um, okay, so let me just grab my brushes here. Um, by the way, this is how I store my brushes if you're interested. I just put it, in, this is a clear case I got from Michael's, some beads, and then I just throw them all in here so I can see what I got going on. I'm just going to do something really simple and pretty. I'm going to use the um, Matte Jane eyeshadow in the shade Clay. It's just It reminds me of like Soft Brown by MAC. And I'm just going to use a fluffy big old blending brush. This one's by Sigma. And I'm just going to throw this in my crease just to kind of warm up my crease. These eyeshadows are really good. Really, really good. Um, they're inexpensive, they have a lot of really pretty, all the colors are for the most part pretty natural. I mean, there's a couple brighter colors, but the entire line of eyeshadows are all like neutrally colors, you know, wearable colors. I think they do have some bright blues and greens, but for the most part, really good quality for the price point. I'm honestly was shocked. 
because my favorite drugstore eyeshadows you cannot find at the drugstore. They're Makeup Geek. I love Makeup Geek. The, the quality is fabulous for the price. But these are, I think these are going to be my number two. Um, I've tried some other brands and I just, they're just either chalky or they're hard to work with. And I need stuff that's easy to work with because I struggle enough at it as it is. Like, I'm still a work in progress, guys. I, that's why I struggle to think, like, to do tutorials because I feel like I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I'm just your average woman who likes to play in makeup and show you what I do. So, that's why they should probably be more like, this is how I do it tutorials. <laughs> Okay, so just warmed up the crease and whatnot. And then, let's see, I'm gonna go in and deepen it up just a little bit with Calla Lily, which is like a shimmery purple from Jane. And let's see, I'm gonna take a brush, this brush. I'm gonna use the shading brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my outer V out here. You see how pigmented that is and how easily that blended? Seriously. I'm really, really shocked by the quality of these shadows. And the price point, I mean, I bought these when they were buy one, get one half off. Well, that's a good deal. Okay, and just gonna blend out the edges of that a little bit. And then I'm going to take uh, this one called Eclipse, which is like a shimmery golden shade. And I'm just going to use a shading brush, E55 here from Sigma, and dot that onto my lid. I like to blow it up like that and like sprinkle eyeshadow all over my room. <laughs> It's probably not the proper way to do it. You should probably tap, but whatever. And now for the star of the day, Chanel. I know, Chanel, I said it. I'm using Jane Cosmetics, and then we're going to throw a little Chanel in there. This is New Moon by Chanel. And I'm going to apply this, I think, with this tiny little brush. This might, yeah. It's a Real Techniques uh, detailer brush. It's super, super tiny. But I need something that's going to be precise because I tend to do things quick and out of control. So I'm just going to place this color in the center of my lid. Can we just take a moment here? Let me zoom you guys in. You're probably thinking, why didn't she zoom in a long time ago? Do you see the gorgeousness going on in this lid? Do you see the golden, purpley golden, oh, amazingness? All right, now we're just gonna do, let's see. What should we do? Should we line them or just smoke it out? Let's just take, let's just go simple. Let's take that clay shadow and you can take like a pencil brush if you have one or some sort of smudgy brush. I'm going to use a pencil brush if I can find one right here. And I'm going to take this clay and tap. <laughs> and then I'm going to just smudge this underneath my lash line. Just like so. Just to create a really soft shadow. Really enjoy smudging out my lower lash line instead of using liner. Because it's just a soft hint of something defining your eye versus like a line. I am just going to do my waterline with my tiny little nub of my favorite eyeliner that clearly I need to repurchase. It's the Mally Eyeliner in um, Chocolate. I think it's called Chocolate. And I'm just going to do my upper waterline. When you just do it like this, it gives the appearance of like fuller, thicker lashes and that your eyes are defined, but there's not going to be an actual line, which I really like that look. Because I don't know about you, but I really struggle with getting my eyeliner to not be like everywhere or straight or not wiggly. Like, 
I have a hard time doing straight lines. With eyeliner, it's more like a wiggly, curvy line. Like a winding country road instead of a highway through the entire United States. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. We don't need to watch that. Okay, so I had to pause and show you guys. One eye with mascara, one eye without. I have very straight, short lashes that just like, they come at you. This is my favorite mascara, my holy grail mascara. It's the Mali Vol Voluminous Mascara, Volumizing Mascara in black. This is one coat. Check that out. Oh my gosh, it's like magical. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Okay, let's finish off this bad boy. I'm going to take the Rimmel Rose Quartz Lip Liner. Actually, I think I wanted East End Snob, but it looks like we're going to use Rose Quartz. Uh, just a pretty pink liner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed with lining my lips. I just like the look of it. It just polishes it off. And if you don't want to throw a lipstick on, I just like lined them before. And then uh, throwing on a gloss. The star of the show besides Chanel, my YSL lipstick in Rouge Velepte number 8. I think it's called Fetish Pink. Ugh, oh, so creamy. And another thing I like to do with lipstick is just take my finger and just kind of smush it in there. Kind of stains it a little bit and just kind of marries it to your lips. Alright, so this is it. I am dying over this Chanel uh, New Moon cream eyeshadow thing. Just dying. And of course, this lipstick, this blush, this whole thing. This was fun, guys. I got to use my new things. I'm really pleased with my purchases, especially this. Ugh. Mm, I'm going to have to use this sparingly, even though it's so beautiful. Mm, I'm just going to want to reach for it all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed just sitting down and chit-chatting with you guys and having a jolly old time. So I am going to now go downstairs and finish off the rest of my afternoon while the kids nap. I already got my floor scrubbed, so we're golden. It looks like it might rain, so our whole plan is to go to the water park. Probably not going to happen. I think it might be a movie and popcorn afternoon, which is fine by me because I'll tell you what, it's, well, today is Friday. This mommy is tired, and I am ready for some R&R. &R. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.